Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17, uh, the modern classics on Real, Real House Farm. Okay, now I owe you a massive apology for missing a bit because I've just done a whole recording and I never pressed record on the old uh, OBS. So I pretty much did a whole, a whole episode on my own, chatting to myself like a complete utter div and I wasn't even recording it. So this is where I'm going to pick up. So what I've done so far then, let's get a bit of a catch up. So go to the map. So what I've done, like I said to you in the first episode, I was going to plow all the fields. So I ploughed all the fields, then I finished, and then I started <laughs> recording, but not recording. I thought I'd click record, but I obviously didn't. So like a complete div, I was just chatting to myself. I fertilised these fields. I seeded. Uh, field 10 and then give that the second stage of fertilising um, I was jacking away talking away and ended up talking to myself like a complete uh, an idiot so that is that so that's where we got to and then I decided to sell some stuff on my silo so I sold my sunflower and I've sold soybeans and I went to uh, if we go back to the map to Smith Mill. So I've driven all the way up here, drove all the way down here, down here, to sell some, some of my crops just to have a look at the map. And unfortunately you've missed out on me looking at that part of the map, but you're gonna have a look at it when I drive back. Alright, so all is not lost completely. I'm very gutted myself that I never pressed record on OBS, so and I saved the game as well. I don't know if there's a way to get back and restart it all again, I don't know, but we'll just carry on from here anyway. Uh, all I can do is apologise if you're really interested in that. But, like I said, all I've done, I've finished the plough and all offline, like I said, from episode one. I then fertilised these three fields, I seeded this and then gave this the second stage of fertilisation. And then I just drove some seed. Or some grain, whatever you want to call it, some fruit types, all the way down here to Smith's Mill, which is where I am now, where you can see I'm flashing. So, that being said, let's um, take a little cruise back and let's get let's spin this camera out of it because that trailer gets in the way with this little Land Rover. This Land Rover did struggle a little bit pulling the grain, but oh gold nugget let's see we do some gold nuggets there you go one of a hundred you have discovered a gold nugget seems like there is some gold to be found in this region try and find the remaining 99 for a million pounds trust me that won't be easy because I'm only going to pick up them if I, uh, if I see him I'm not going to go do a treasure hunt I did that on Goldcrest Valley, like I've mentioned before in the, the first episode. Uh, I must have spent hours just finding gold nuggets. Anyway, one thing I'm impressed with, with this map is the um, this bridge that's just down here. So I'll show you this bridge. Look at this, look. I don't know, it looks smart. I like this water as well with the whatever it is in it, plants that are in it. Let's uh, see if we can go down and have a look. Look at that, look. I am impressed. And you've got this nice little bridge as well. Not a bad looking bridge when you've got all the moss grown in it. So that's one thing I've found so far that I'm impressed with. Like I said, I've not taught this map before until I'm well, only getting my machines back to my farm when I uh, first set this map up to do the modern classics with on it. And then just now as I toured around to sell some grain, and I took a drive down to the bottom left hand corner of the map to Smith's Mill. Now, this thing's 33 miles an hour now. I went straight here, didn't I? 
So there's lots of fields on here. It's just like um, one of my favourite matches was the old valley, the old farm, the valley, the old farm. Sorry, you know, that was a, a nice map. At least on this map, we got some big old fields out there as well. Um, do I want to hook a? I don't know which way I went now. I'm completely lost. I suppose we could go up. We'd go up by. Um, Take the next right up towards Twin Cannons Inn if you can see that on there at all. And go across and then back up to my farm that way. Let's do that because I've come the other way. I've come down by the. the you know, I can get my mouse going here. I came down from my farm. I came out of here. I followed this road down to here. And I followed it all along. And I turned left here all the way down to. Smith's Mill. What I might do is go up here and maybe cut across here to Twin Cannons Inn. Maybe come back to the milk sales. I can sell some milk. And then come back up on the road here and then back up to the farm that way. Let's do that. Have a look and see what's up this way. Don't want you missing out on any more stuff that I've I can't believe I must have done what an hour, an hour session, talking to myself. Couldn't believe it. When I finished it and said, "Oh, finished it," I thought that'd be good for episode two. I saved the game and went to stop all the uh, OBS, and then uh, realised I didn't even have OBS switched on. I absolutely gutted I was. But hey not one to get stressed out and angry about it, just carry on. So I've told you what I've done. Most of you I've probably watched watching this I've probably done farming sim anyway. Oh, so, we'll up here. so you know how to fertilize, you've seen people fertilise, you've done it yourself. What's down there? Look, nice little crooked road to a, a church, I believe, up that little road. Oh hello mate. Got down here that's tight nice oops, nice tight little streets, nice little Victorian style houses. Oops, really run her over. I don't know what this is. Another little church I think, right on the corner. Let's go up here. see a gold nugget hang on yep, that's two gold nuggets I've got now out of a hundred once you find the first ten nuggets you get them all show up on your map so it's a bit easier but usually I just pick them up as and when I find them so this is the shop <coughs> excuse me this is the shop where I bought everything and this place looks interesting I don't know what is this the milk sales Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Let's have a whiz in there, let's have a look. Not Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Fair price on the shelf. Fair price on this farm. Oh, it's all looking pretty good. Ah! Who decided to bring a big ass trailer down here? Look. this corner. What's it stuck on? Even things are nightmare, innit? Can you believe it? There we go, we're free. Let's take that corner a bit wide. Oh yeah, this is like the milk sale. And the cows, so I'd have to look at the cow farm then to see uh, the old milk producing machine. Hey, I'm not going to get through there with this thing, am I? Made out of them. Oh, there's another gold nugget. All is not lost. Let's just get this nugget. Let's 
going through the passenger side. Now how the hell am I going to get this thing out of here? Oh, well, it wasn't that hard really, was it? <laughs> what looked a challenge actually looked easy. Actually ended up being easy. And what looked easy was actually a flipping challenge. Okay, so... Let's, let's go and look at the farm. We've got some stuff down here. So this compost place is it, I've heard there's some compost on here got all your whatever waste in there really and get some compost greenhouses, can we do anything with those greenhouses? there's a gold nugget over there, I'll get that next time while we go and visit alright, this is going to struggle up the hill isn't it I certainly should have got a tractor really for this trailer but I just want to have a go with the Land Rover, see what that can do it does look a bit big for the old airplane, but that is the old trailer. There we go, give weight. Alright, let's get on back to the farm then. So this is the road, oops, excuse me, road back to the farm. Yeah, it's a good map, really, I like this one. We've got all sorts of fields, we start off with some small fields, but there are some some big fields on here which will be good for uh, whatever we want to do with we will purchase more on someday alright um, some stuff here so I've got 29,000 pounds now just under 30 grand this is just because I sold us some grain. Uh, I did dip in money as well because you have to pay for the fertilizer and the seeds, which we're going to do a bit more seeding now when we get to the farm. Even the JCB, which is my monster truck, struggled with the old fertilizer. When I fertilized all the fields, slipping and sliding and wheel spinning everywhere. We'll uh, dump this trailer. I think we'll use a tractor on this trailer next time, not the Land Rover. The Land Rover is good though, I do love it. It's a lovely little mod. And to be honest with you, I cannot even remember where I downloaded it from. So, sorry about that. Well, I'm sure there's lots of links and places you can get it, mod hoster or anywhere like that. I'm sure they've got it. Alright, let's leave that there then. Let's park this back up over here and park forwards. Okay, and let's do a bit of fertilising then. More seeding. Where's my uh, JCB? Yeah, so I've got the fertiliser on the back, it did struggle. I did put it on the uh, Massey Ferguson in the, uh, in the uh, Invisible episode I did. We'll call it the Invisible episode. I did it all, I'm not even having it on record, I was so gutted, but there you are, I've been through that. Right, let's see if this uh, Hill 10 will be ready for this next, won't it? I think the tractor's down there already with the uh, seeder, so we can uh, seed field 9. I think I've got the tractor in ready to do, so this field I'm going to do seeding next. And I'll Oh look at this, maybe we can do a bit of uh, fertilising on this field. Let's uh, do it. Let's uh, lower her down and switch it on. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit so I can see where we're fertilising. Yeah, I think there's like two passes I did on this and this field was done. I think the rest of the fields were three passes a bit on the uh, field 12, because field 12 does look the bigger map, and the bigger field that we own. Um, let's uh, spin it round. Yeah, two passes on this map and it's done. On this map, map, this field, sorry, excuse me. And let's give it some there we go. And we've done this, and then we will uh, go and seed field 9, which is that field just there. And then we'll give that the uh, 
second stage fertilising. So this would be the third one now, so I can leave this field now and just let it grow ready for the harvesting. So that's this field done and dusted with now with its three stages of fertiliser. So if we have a look on the map you can see that the dark blue dark blue here is fertilised. There's a little sliver there, I'm not sure why that is, but we're not going to worry about it. Uh, it's, um, what am I doing? You might be able to hear my steering wheel spinning around there, if you can hear that. Right, let's leave this here for a minute. Switch it off, save some diesel. Let's squeeze through there and let's go and do some seeding. And this thing holds 500 litres. I use nearly half on field 10. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get field 9 done with this before having to refit it. Like I said, it does cost money, but that's why we have missions and and things to do. So we might do some, some missions soon to uh, to earn some extra money. As uh, we always do with the extra bit of money, we can all help. I've got higher workers as well here. I don't know how the workers we get on with these uh, hedges and that. Like I was saying, there's an obstacle in the way and can't continue. But I can certainly go and do some fields for some other farmers and some cash. So, let's spin this round. That's it. Game on. Yeah, it didn't take me long, I think it took me about 15 minutes to seed field 10, maybe not even that, 10, 10, 15 minutes. So I think it's going to be about the same for this one, I think field 9 is not as not far bigger than field 10. So, let's swing this round. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear my steering wheel as I'm trying to turn the tractor around. Shouldn't take me long at all. I also mentioned that it took me about an hour and a half to plough all the fields offline, which is not too bad really, a bit better than I thought it was going to be. I spent two hours ploughing one field before, let you know, alone an hour and a half to do three fields. Down here. Yeah, so I'm loving this map. Map seems perfect for me. And, um, loving the DLC, loving the classics. Beautiful. It's good that everything gets dirty as well. There's nothing worse than I hate mods that don't get dirty. Very selective with my mods. I don't really have that many mods really at the moment regarding tractors and, and things. Got some class that is not in the in game, got some class with some John Deere. Uh, I'd like to download a couple of those of each as well to make sure I'm happy with it. Does what it says, what it's meant to. Make sure the mod does look good. So I have downloaded some horrendous mods. I remember downloading the uh, transit van, not the rumbler, another transit van, another version uh, from the outside. Uh, go on the inside to look at the interior. It was a five minute job to get it done, I think it was dreadful. Yeah, I've got some tractors like that as well that you know look good from the outside. You go on the interior, look, look terrible. So I am quite picky with my mods. So 
Same with the combine halves as well. Got class there and a John Deere as well. It's good how it all rocks about with the new mud. It's awesome, doesn't it? That's my nutty sometimes. That's why I'm ploughing does my head in with the regular ploughs. I'm just going back on myself because I miss spots. Bigger than uh, it really is, doesn't it? I'll have to refill the seed. I'm actually hoping to get this field done with the seed that I'm going to need. What is the matter with me? It's not very straight, look at that, that's all wicky dickety, isn't it? But here's the spot over there. About that, 50 pence worth. That's what we can get for the whole field, and I'm doing it for wheat again simply because it'll save me a bit of money in the long run on fertilizer on the first stage, anyway. I also have to physically fertilize the fields twice. But it's better than three times. Man, this is terrible. This is probably the worst even I've ever done. I did, I did feel 10 a lot better than this. That's better. Another spot I miss. A couple of spots I'm missing everywhere, isn't there? Some gas, gas bagging, I'm not concentrating. the old tractors bounce about in the mud. Yeah, it looks about halfway, doesn't it? I don't think I'm going to finish this field with the seed I've got in this cedar, so I think I'm going to have to refill it. Cost me some more money. Just sold a load of crops to make it for the seed and fertiliser I've done. Okay, fine, fair enough, I've got nine grand more than what I started with at the moment, but, you know, you've got to spend money to make money, I suppose, as the old saying says. I, I can easily just go in and change some of the files and give myself millions of pounds if I wanted to, but I think that just defeats the whole complete object. I basically just swapped out the equipment and gave myself 20 grand to start off with again, just like, you know, the game was going to be starting normally. Apart from that, everything else is as is. I used to edit the XML files all the time. But I try not to do it anymore, but it does do my nothing sometimes, I have to change everything. I did it for this though, especially, but. I wanted to start with a modern DLC pack and a modern classics pack, sorry, and then um, play the game as it should. With a 20 grand starting cash. 83 litres left. You know, when this is going to last me or not? Another couple of passes, maybe, and then I'll have to refill. But it is what it is. It's just as well that our the field at the moment are quite small. Could be spending a fortune on seeding. Oops, wrong, wrong pedal. Alright, let's uh, see if we can get a bit straighter down here now. You can use a GPS bot, that will get you straight. I've just not bothered with that really. 
horse play, I don't bother with that either. I like season, seasons is a bit odd. I've done uh, the Valley of the Old Farm with seasons, that was good. It'll be my first let's play on here, I've got a lot of bother with seasons. Simply because we can just keep cracking on and powering fields. There, you can't do nothing in spring, you can sow it. Then you've got a bit of a dip in well, early summer where you can't do anything, then you harvest it. And then winter, you're doomed. Like, there's things to do, you can always do a bit of forestry and get some wood chips and you know, there's things to do, don't get me wrong. We'll be doing that here, eventually. That is my plan anyway, to get as much done on this map as possible. Unfortunately, you have to start off with these fields to start you know, making your way with the money. I know I missed a bit back there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe about two pounds worth. Yeah, it's not taking us too long, is it? Taking us to what, 10, 15 minutes to do this field? Field 12 might take a bit of time to do. That is not the biggest field we own. And that was the one that took three and a bit on the old fertilizer, and the others took two or three. That's not much to me, don't get me wrong. So, uh, I think what we do is speed this up. I will uh, time lapse this, and what I'll do, I'll see the other two fields in time lapse, so I won't stop, I'll just keep going, and then I'll see you once I've seen the other two fields. Okay, so see you, see you in a bit. Right, so there we go. I've had a bit of a think and I was changing my heart as well. So we feel we've seeded uh, field 12 and 9. I'm going to leave field 11 for now because I'm also thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to harvest all four fields at the same time. Not exactly the same time, but one straight after the other. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave field 11 for now. So I've got the seeder back and then I'm going to just fertilise them. And then they've got their six stage of fertilisation going on. And we may well call it an episode. Okay, so let's pack this thing in here. Drop it off. Let's put the old case back. Let's put things back nice and tidy where they are. 
And we used JZB to uh, fertilise. And I used to use JZB because, like I said earlier, I used the Fergie Max, Mass the Fergie. So yeah, a minute. The Massey Ferguson. There we go. We got it right. And it could handle the weight. So let's um let's get these ones done then. Um, I ain't gonna bother lowering it in the work, just for one like that. There we go. And I think this field was three passes, fertilizing, and then full twelve is three and a bit. So we'll get these done. And then we'll call it a day. We'll hopefully get some. Uh, we'll have to do the last stage, the third stage of fertilising these fields. Um, once we get some crops sprouting up, and then wait for them to grow and harvest. And I think when we harvest, I think we'll seed build eleven. Then that way, you know, we're not doing too much more than one it because. Now I've just done all the ploughing, you know, did all the fertilizer, fertilizing in the first stage of the three, three fields, and then do all the seeding. You know, just bury the jobs up a little bit so we don't get bored. We can get bored, boring if we are just constantly spending an hour or so seeding and an hour or so of harvesting, fertilizing, ploughing. I'm going to break it up a little bit so we can do a bit of build work do a bit of seeding, a bit of ploughing. Alright, so that's that field done. We'll whip over to page 12 and get that one done. And then we may well call this an episode. A little bit there. Oh, I wouldn't worry about a little bit. You probably notice that there's a lot of spots out on seeding field 12. Just go for it, we keep going back and forth just to get little tiny spots. It's going to cost me a couple of quid. I might have lost 50 quid on the field, I think, with the spots that I've missed, so I'm not going to worry about it. I could pretty much say that I would have thought a good 90% of that field, 99, 97% of that field is all seeded. Good enough for me. Let's get this going. Let's move it over a little bit. It's not quite got the edge. Yeah, little spots like this ain't gonna harm, is it? So yeah, I wanna vary the jobs up a little bit. We'll get some sheep. It's gonna be the first lot of animals, but also comes at a cost because you've got to buy a mowing machine to get them some grass, get a water tanker so we can get them some water. We also need like a loading wagon or something to pick the grass up for a baler of some kind. So it's not as easy to just go and buy a couple of sheep, stick them in your sheep pen and hope for the best. You've got to clean for them. Also got to buy a front loader as well for the massive herds because they're Animals do get messy and all the food comes out the troughs and you've got to pick it all up, put it back in again. So we'll get some money up and we'll get some sheep back. We'll be getting that soon. Yeah, three three and a bit on this, like I said it was, weren't it? I don't think we're quite going to get the edge there. This is fine, not a problem. Otherwise, I would just be, you know, harvesting, ploughing, cultivating, seeding, fertilising. You know, a lot to vary the jobs up. I've been thinking about that while I was uh, seeding this field, field 12. So we'll, we'll leave field 11 just for the time being. Maybe when we har go to harvest field 10, when that's ready, we might. I might, um seed it then. So both 12 and 9 have now got the bean seeded and I've had the second stage of fertilizer thrown on. We will need a third one but we'll do that when it, the crops sprout up and they're first sprouting. 
and that is that. So I'm going to leave this just out on the roadside, just over here, because this is what I'm going to need next. Bill Chen's already got his three stages of uh, fertilizer, so that just we just need to wait now until that's ready to harvest. That's done and dusted now. I'm going to leave this here because I need to wait. So what we got? Uh, yeah, everything's all back. So I think I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, you can see this has now got the second stage of fertilizer. This has only got the first stage, but we've not seeded anything yet. So if we go to the growth, you can see that these three fields are growing. This is a slightly darker green than these greens. So that's probably in its second stage of growth. And of course, this will tell you what it is now, just growing wheat. I might bury that up eventually, but for now I'm just growing wheat, just simply because when we uh, harvest it, we can get a, a free uh, stage of fertilising on each field, just to save a bit of money on fertiliser, even though I'm still forking out for it to do the other two stages, but at least I'm saving a stage. Okay, um, I think that is it. I do apologise again for the invisible episode. So this is technically episode 2.1. But basically all you missed was me fertilising the fields and seeding 10 and fertilising 10 and then taking some grain down to the smith mill down here. But we will do some more, we'll do some more stuff around here, over here and have a look. Um, yeah, there's our sheep, so our sheep pasture is just over here. So we can get some lawnmowers, cut these grass, get a watering tank. You know, but all this co all costs money, so if we was going to do some sheep soon, we would need a mower to cut some grass. So where's the mowers? It's got a little bit of a price up. Um, 16, 12. Plus we're going to need 160 horsepower to to run this. What does this one need? Yeah, it's going to need 170 horsepower and 90. So, yeah, so we're looking at, oh, what's that? Say 50 odd grand there. So then we're going to need a loading wagon to pick up the grass or a baler. I think a loading wagon might be the uh, cheaper option to start off with. Get this one here for 31 grand. What's that? That's not up to 80,000 odd. This is just rough pricing. What else do we need? We need a animals just get a water tanker that's 10 grand so 90 grand and then front loaders we're going to need some front loaders the Massey Ferguson even if we've got the little one so we've got this and the bucket you're talking around nearly 100 grand up here just to get all this all up and running comfortably and plus buying a sheep as well and uh, and that's that So, that is going to be episode 2, 2.1 if you like, I'll, I'll, I'll label it as episode 2, and I'll see you in episode 3 where we will uh, try and start making some money, get them fields harvested and get some mowers and, and that lot for our sheep. You know, I don't have to do everything in one go, I can get the mowers, cut the grass and get that ready, and uh, maybe do another harvest, get that money, and then do it that way or get a loan and just do it all in one it we'll see let me ponder on it for an evening so thank you very much for watching if you like subscribe if you don't don't entirely up to you and i'll see you next time thank you very much